like the same thing when, when you had your first NHL game, you know, getting ready for tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, a fresh kind of start for me um, with a new org organization. And I think uh, definitely it feels a little bit like the first game at the same time. I, I definitely have a kind of a, you know, an outlook on what it's going to uh, be like on the ice. And, uh, no, it's, it's exciting. Um, definitely uh, nice to be here and, um, you know, play for Buffalo Sabres. What was your reaction when you heard the news and had to hear about it, I guess? Yeah, um, I kind of had a idea over Christmas. You know, uh, Kevin uh, kind of gave me an idea that I might be coming up. And, um, and then uh, Seth, our head coach in Rochester, gave me a call yesterday. So, um, no, it was great uh, to hear about it for sure. Obviously, uh, you know, um, you definitely want to be here and, and earn your spot. Um, and, you know, just make the most of your time here. I think uh, that's what I'm going to do every day, just kind of be a sponge here and um, show what I can do. Yeah, I think uh, you know down in Rochester, there's a great group of guys for sure. Um, you know, coming, uh, getting traded was something new for me, so I uh, definitely took some time to kind of reflect and um, you know get used to things. Obviously, uh, Seth, our head coach down there, um, you know he's done a great job with me to you know, give me confidence and allow me to ease into things and just uh, get comfortable with uh, some new systems and some new guys and a new organization. So, um, no, that's been great. And uh, I'm just trying to keep a smile on my face. I think a lot of times you can get ahead of yourself and, and look too far ahead. But uh, for me, it's just, uh, you know, staying in the moment. Uh, yeah, like I said, keeping a smile on my face and, and having fun. Oh, what kind of things were you leaning on Kyle for? Yeah, I think just the drills. Um, you don't want to mess up in your first day. Um, you don't want to be a drill killer. So uh, I just tried to uh, uh, ask a few questions, make sure I go back a line uh, before I go for a for a rep. And I uh, know obviously it came up to me if I need anything, uh, just give him a shout. And uh, I definitely utilize that. <laughs> How much have you been able to see or talk to Alex talk over the past two months? Yeah, I've been... Um, uh, my gal came in with him um, on, on the plane, so um, coordinated that, and then I've just been texting him back and forth. He's been texting me, seeing how I'm doing. Um, it's nice having uh, another guy to kind of lean on that uh, you know and you're familiar with when you come to the locker room. So uh, that and, and Cody Eakin, which was which was nice to come in here and um, know a few guys. So um, yeah, no talking to him lots. Obviously, uh, pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, you know we could uh, make our due beats together. Hopefully, and uh, that'd be really fun. You could probably recognize rather quickly when you, when you know when you saw Paterka, you saw Luke and then Samuelson. Mm -hmm. you, you know you guys are going to be together for a long, long time. And, and was it good to get to know all these young players, knowing that you guys are going to be together for a while? Yeah, no, I think uh, it's exciting. You know, you want to create those relationships that when, uh, you know, you, you hope to, that you're here, and all, all of us until we're 30 years old, 35 years old, and, um, you know, we're kind of around the same age, so, uh, you know, our families can grow and, and be together, which would be really cool um, for sure. Uh, getting to know those guys, and um, as we all start to trickle in, uh, playing Buffalo, Rochester, it's exciting, and we're cheering for each other for sure. Obviously putting pressure on yourself to be in the NHL, you want to be here. How helpful were conversations with Seth and Kevin, you know, in that regard as you're trying to, you know, just center yourself and stay focused on the yeah, that's been huge for me. Obviously, uh, Kevin's made it really easy on me uh, coming in. Uh, you know, I think we've we've had some really great conversations and kind of what he wants to for the future and, and you know what what we want for right now. I think the biggest thing is just uh, you know focusing on the now, getting better every day. Um, how can I come um, into the AHL and, and be the player I want to be? And then obviously Seth uh, in the AHL, it's it's not an easy league for sure. Um, you know, it's it's definitely a mental grind coming from. A different organization and getting, like you said, accumulated uh, with different guys. So, uh, no, he's been a huge help for me. Uh, we've had, like I said, some more great conversations and, um, you know, just kind of bringing confidence into my game and, um, you know, making sure I feel comfortable uh, uh, with the process and um, really just uh, embracing that process and, you know, like I said, earning, uh, earning my time in Rochester and uh, eventually here. Difficult is it going to be for you to? Yeah, difficult. But you're going to have to forge your identity. You're always going to be tied to the guy they got for Jack. Yeah. I mean, how much do you just have to kind of shut that out and go play? Is that label is always going to be there. Yeah, I think um, you know I got traded and 
the next day I kind of forgot about that I got traded for Jack Eichel. It's not really going to, um, you know, those things don't really affect me. Obviously, he's going to do um, whatever he's going to do there, and I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do here. And obviously, um, you know, coming into pro hockey in the NHL, I have high expectations for myself uh, from the beginning, and because I got traded for a good player doesn't mean I'm going to change those. And, um, you know, I, I've always put a lot of pressure on myself, so I think uh, that's not going to change for me. Um, and, uh, you know, I think any hockey player wants to do well, no matter if you're a trader or not. So I think uh, for me, it's just uh, coming to the with a smile on the f my face, uh, living the moment, and uh, just getting better every day. And if I know I do that, then I'm going to be a, a great hockey player for sure. Yeah, no, uh, yesterday we went and grabbed our gear together and, uh, you know, I was like, let's go to NHL and uh, he just had a big smile on his face. So, uh, you know, it's uh, exciting to see him out here. He's a, he's a heck of a player, can skate like crazy and uh, a great kid. So, um, no, it was, it was awesome to see him out there flying around and uh, doing his thing for sure. Sorry, where, where did you have uh, Just to pick up our gear. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you haven't played, I guess, almost, whatever, a week and a half. What, uh, what, were you playing wing or center last game? Um, yeah, I was playing uh, center. Yeah. Yeah. Is wing a, a hard transition for you? Or you yeah, I've played, I've been all over the map uh, this past uh, year, I guess. Um, played a few games in D in the Western League last year, too. So, um, no, I'm not, I'm not that I'm going to play there. But, uh, no, I, I play anywhere. I, I do like center, um, you know, like being in the middle of the ice, helping the D out, things like that. Obviously, uh, wing, uh, it's a, you're a little more on the perimeter um, and making inside plays. So, um, no, I, I just try to be ready when the, the coach calls my name and uh, go put my best effort out there. Yeah, for like four or five games. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we were in the Western League bubble, and I uh, we had, we only had a certain amount of D, and we had a bunch of hurt. We had three D, so I went. Uh, my coach put me on D uh, for four games. I did pretty well, actually. I, I, it was pretty fun. So yeah, it's good. No, I was I was a straight winger, a defenseman winger. So <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Yeah, um, I played my first game with him on a line, and then actually uh, I cut my Achilles when I got drafted, and then um, I was injured, and he got injured uh, in the preseason um, in Vegas, and he kind of took me under his wing that I was living with Mark, and um, so whenever they were on the road, I would go to his house every day pretty much. Um, he has uh, a few connections. He has the, he's the connection guy, so we uh, got to do some fun things, and uh, you know, I, I spent a lot of time with him. Uh, in that six months I was injured, um, he was also so. I was, uh, no, he's he's been great, uh, great guy. Um, you know, lots of always comes around with a smile on his face, and um, no, it's exciting to be here with him for sure. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, I know. If you need a reservation, just give Taki a call, and <laughs> he's your guy. So uh, no, um, great. I mean. Um, in Vegas, we had a few shows, and he made sure that I had tickets and whatnot. So he, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's a pretty humble guy and pretty selfless. So it's uh, nice to have him around for sure. Hey, considering you've had experience, you know, you played a couple of games. What do you say to JJ? You know, considering you know, he's kind of going through this and, and you've kind of been there, you know, with the first time in the NHL, and kind of getting used to the lights and things like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, that guy's got a heck of a lot of skill. I mean. He uh, he's got lots of confidence too. So I mean, he he I just told him to go do his thing. I mean, he's he's uh, he's here for a reason. He's a great player. Um, just have fun with it. I mean, it's your first game. My first game. I was so nervous uh, in warm ups, and then you just kind of you feel good after that, and you just play. So um, no, I I don't really need to say too much to that kid. He's he's got it uh, figured out for sure. You feel bad for Jack Quinn. I mean, he was leading the league scoring. He yeah. For sure, no. I uh, he like another heck of a player. Obviously, a great guy. Um, got to know Quinn really well, and uh, I'm sure he'd be here for sure if he wasn't uh, sick. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys.